Before taking a panel, you're going to instruct the patient to take off all jewelry, including earrings, facial earrings, and necklaces, and you'll bring a cup for the patient to set all of that in. You'll also instruct the patient to take off any glasses or partials with metal in them. This is the poncho for the pano. You'll ask your doctor whether it's required or not. In this case, we will be putting it on the patient. And when you place this on the patient, you're just going to set it here and you want the front of the pano, or the poncho, excuse me, to be right against the neck. You're gonna lower the pano machine to the height of the patient. You're then going to take a sterile pano stick and insert it into the machine. And now you'll instruct the patient to step forward, to grab onto the handles, and to rest their chin down on the blue and bite on the stick. Before taking the pano, you want to check that the patient's occlusal plane is parallel with the floor. You do not want the patient to be up too high or down too low. You also want to make sure the lasers, the middle one, is right in the center of the midline. Go ahead and smile, sorry. And this one on the side is distal to the canine. You're going to click the panoramic button. And depending on the type of x-ray you're taking, you can block off certain sections of the pano machine. In this case, we'll be taking a full panoramic x-ray. You can also take exterior bite wings for uh, children. Mm -hmm. um, so let's show them how to do that. Oh, okay. So if Is we... it still going? Yeah. Okay. Um, you can also take bite wings for children. And the way to do that is you're going to click up here where it says standard. You'll click bite wing and it'll block off the sections. And then if we're going to be taking the posterior or the um, post. So you're going to click the panoramic button. You'll then click the play button. And then you're going to click the play button one more time. And then you're going to instruct the patient to take one small step forward until they feel your foot. And then you will also instruct the patient to close their lips around the stick, to press their tongue to the roof of their mouth, and to swallow. And now we're ready to take the pano. You want to instruct the patient to take one small step forward until they feel your foot. And you will also want the patient to close their lips around the stick and press their tongue to the roof of their mouth and swallow. You want to wait for the button to turn a solid green color and then you're going to press and hold the button and you do not want to remove your finger until you no longer hear the noise from the pano machine. You can now remove your finger from the button. When the panel is complete, you'll instruct the patient to step toward you. You'll remove the poncho 
and instruct the patient to return back to the same op they were in. At this point, you're going to clean up. You're going to remove this pano stick and you'll take it to sterilization. You're now going to clean off the panoramic machine. You're going to take a cavi wipe. You're going to wipe the handles. Wipe the chin rest. Wipe the bars that rest on the patient's temple. You're also going to wipe the buttons, the screen, and the mouse and keyboard. You're then going to deglove and go back to the operatory to pull the pano out for the patient. So when you uh, go back into the operatory, you're going to select the patient and then you are going to click on view images. And then you will open up the most recent pano that you just completed. And now you are ready to call the doctor in to say that you are ready for him or her to look at the pano.